What's up guys, welcome back to another video and this video is specifically about the Orbis toolbox and I'm going to be going and covering what you can do with it and how you can go ahead and do it and what is actually useful for. So if you look over here, I did just come out of rest mode guys. I did post a video recently about tips to go ahead and successfully jailbreak your PS4 and I've been having it on rest mode ever since then and it has been working flawlessly. It's almost like the 8th or 10th time I'm in and out of rest mode and I'm still jailbroken as you guys can see. All right, so let's talk about Arbus Toolbox. I'm gonna to be going ahead and activating that. So you already do have my cached exploit over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load up my Twitter browser. And there you go, I do have this already cached in. So guys, this is the Arbus Tool Alpha Build 116 by OSM. So hats off to OSM, and he's finally been able to port it for 7.55. So this is actually being run on 7.55 because that's the firmware I'm using. So guys, in order to go ahead and activate it, all you gotta do Fire up the host you're using. So I'm using Night King B4 uh, specifically, and as you can see here, this is what our Orbis toolbox is. So guys, all you gotta do, just go ahead and click it and let it start loading. So this would require to go ahead and jailbreak again in order to run the payload, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let it happen. And I'm just gonna fast forward this guy so you can actually see my actual experience trying to go ahead and jailbreak it and how long it actually took me. Okay, looks like about the fourth attempt after three memory errors, it is successfully going through. There we go, waiting for the payload to be launched. Excellent. And there we go, guys. Orbis Toolbox Alpha 1.0 is successfully loaded. So, now let's go and check this one out. As you can see, immediately you'll be able to see on the top right corner, it does show you that Orbis Toolbox Alpha version 1.0 build is now actively running on my PS4. So, what is Orbis Tool all about? So if you go to settings over here, the very first thing you'll notice over here, guys, Orbis Toolbox is gonna to be the very first thing right on top. So opening up Orbis Toolbox, you do have lots of different options over here. So power options, package installer, which you don't have to go all the way down to debug settings, game, and then package installer. If you have a USB in and you have a package to install, you can go and use that directly from here, but I don't have a USB plugged in, so no packages found. Also you have other things over here like this manager here, system settings, Orbis toolbox settings, and open internal debug settings. So if you go to power options, first one here, so you can obviously reboot, shut down, and suspend your system to the rest mode. You can obviously do that. So guys, talking about the system settings, you do have these three options over here. So license activation is more for codecs for the media. You have the external hard drive if you wanna go ahead and unmount it if you already have it mounted, and you can also format it from this menu here. And finally, you have the NP debug, which is basically debugging pop-ups, which is mainly for the test kits and stuff like that. It's nothing important or nothing that'd be useful over here. So that's the system settings over there. So the real thing about Orbis Toolbox settings is right inside this particular settings over here. So let's go into that. And guys, as you can see, it does have a lot of options over here. So we're gonna go through this one by one, guys. So load config, I'm gonna leave that for the last. So show title ID and labels. Now, if you remember, if you have all your games and all the different packages over here, in case you wanna go ahead and have a specific update for one of your packages, and you wanna go ahead and mod the game using PS4 Trainer, knowing the title ID is very essential. And I showed you guys a way to go ahead and find out the last time using PS4 Explorer, provided you have the game in your external hard drive or USB. So you don't really know what of these uh, title IDs actually are, and you'll have to go and do a lot of digging or quite a pain in the butt to go ahead and get it done. But however, once you have Orbis Tool, you can go to Settings, let's go to Orbis Toolbox, go down to Orbis Toolbox Settings, and I'm gonna go and check this, Show Title ID Labels, if I do this. Now I come back to the home screen, and guys, you can see the title ID on the top left corner of every single game, specifically to the one that you have. So there you go, guys. So this is how you can go ahead and know the title ID, which is actually really, really useful. And now that you know this, you can actually go ahead and find the right updates for your exact title ID, so you know which region it's from, and which you can go ahead and search it up and search for updates likewise. And you can also go and use a PS4 trainer if you wanna go and mod any of these games. This is how you can actually do this. And this is a very good, interesting feature of Orbis Toolbox. Going back into the settings here, so you next have the Show Dev Kit panel. Once I activate this, and I come back out, you should be able to see this little box on the top left corner. It does give you a lot of information over here, like your uh, your hard drive, um, how much of uh, space you have left, and you have some other system, like system information, the system software, and the model number, serial number, etc. So it's not really helpful for every single person uh, that might use this thing over here. So I personally do not like it. 
I wouldn't want that hanging around in the top left corner. So I'm gonna go and disable that one there. And then you can actually add these settings right at your home screen. So if I actually add this and add this, you should be able to see two new icons over here. So there you go. I don't have to go all the way to settings now. I can just click this. It's gonna take me straight over here to almost two box settings. So that's what that one is. Moving on to game overlay, guys. So this game overlay could be pretty useful if you wanna know some of the details over here, such as your CPU usage, your thread count, RAM usage, video RAM usage, CPU temperature, and SOC temperature. So you can go ahead and have these enabled while you're in a game. So you can get this information while you're gaming to see how much of utilization happens and how it goes through. It's not very usual for everyone to go ahead and do this. So uh, if you wanna go ahead and check it out, so we can go and do a little test over here. I'm gonna go and check all of these things up. And this is the overlay way you want the menu to come up, the left, the right, or the center. So I'm gonna leave it on the left and let's go ahead and check it out. Let's fire up a game over here. So let me just go ahead and choose Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So there you go, guys. Um, all the information is on the top left corner from CPU utilization to thread count to RAM, video RAM, CPU temperature, and so on and so forth. So that's what that setting does, guys. That gives you a lot of information about your games that you're playing. So let's go and take that off because I don't really want that all the time unless I really want to know information. So um, moving on to the last two settings over here. So basically all the things that you've enabled and disabled, just to have a personal way of having this, you can go ahead and save settings. And once you save it, it is saved in this config file. So this checkup box that I told you I'll talk about the last, this one is basically, if you check this up, the next time you run Orbis Toolbox, it's automatically gonna load the previous settings that you just saved from the same config file. If you have this unchecked, you might, probably might have to come and load the settings manually. So that's about it, guys. That's all the details are in this particular Orbis Toolbox settings. For some reason, the last option does not really open up. When I hit X, nothing really happens. So I guess that's good. Uh, it does talk about internal debug settings, which I think is pretty much like the ones we have right here. I'm pretty sure not everyone has actually gone through all the menus available over here. There's a lot of information, a lot of menus to go and look into uh, right over here. So it's not really important. So guys, that is about Orbis Toolbox. It does have all these, all these options over here. Something that I would really like to keep around is specifically the game IDs, uh, the title IDs to be specific. And that could really be helpful whenever you want to utilize or know which particular uh, title ID that you have installed. Other than that, I think the Orbis Toolbox is more like a little hope on what things can be in the future. There's a lot of customization available now. Uh, apart from just being jailbroken, now we can actually mod the menus and all the basic system software. And that actually gives a lot of hope on a lot of more things, a lot more mods that can actually come up. And in fact, maybe a custom firmware, but who knows how that things might turn out. But yes, guys, this is basically what the Orbis Toolbox is about. So that's about it for this particular video, guys. I just want to make a quick video and talk about Orbis Toolbox and how you can utilize it and why you would need it. But that's about it, guys. Let me know in the comments if you're using Orbis Toolbox and what you're using it for to be specific. All right, guys. Well, you have a great week, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers and happy gaming. Goodbye, guys.